Hi guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to share with you how to start a successful YouTube premiere. I'm not only going to tell you how to start the premiere, I'm going to tell you how you can get views from it too. Before I jump into today's video, I just want to say nobody got the correct answer. Only a couple of people came close, they said face cam. But I have four different face cam videos. So obviously the answer had to be specific, but nobody did it. So I'm just going to choose the next best thing and shout out the person who suggested today's video. So one of the people that suggested today's video is Mohammed Basil. And this person says, one tip, I want you to make a video how to start a premiere. By the way, thanks for replying to my comments. No problem, bro. And thank you so much for the suggestion. Shout out to Mohammed Basil. So there's three different ways you can make your video public. Number one, you could just upload it as a regular public video. So the video has to be, you know, edited, completely done. Then you just release it publicly. And that's cool, posting it as a regular video, but there's no live interaction with your audience. The second one is a live stream. In the in the live stream, you have live interaction with your audience, so you can chat, chat with them and actually read somebody's comment. But it's not meant for short tutorials. If you're doing a tutorial, then videos are the best because they just want the information and they want to leave as soon as possible. So let's say you're 30 minutes away from this location outside of this really cool building or this art piece and you want your audience to stay, stay the full way through. You can chat with them and your audience will be willing to stay because you're going to reveal a building and they want to see the building. Especially if you want to do a gaming or 30 or 40 minutes, then it's good for that too. And here comes the best out of those two words. Here comes the YouTube premiere. So a premiere is basically if uploads and live streams had a baby, aka a hybrid version of both. So the video is going to be very well polished and completely done video for the premiere while your audience can still chat live. And that's the best part about it. So you can premiere the video one hour before and everybody's going to see the premiere at the exact same time. So you can schedule the premiere a few days before, but I'm going to tell you the best tips for the premiere. So that way your premiere can get more views right away. On the side note, if you're monetized, you can still get super chat from premieres while you cannot get it on the regular uploads. Before I tell you how to set up premieres, I'm going to tell you what videos are best for premieres. First of all, it should be longer than one or two minutes, that's obvious. So let's say if your video is like one minute and your friends already came after one or two minutes and the video already ended, so you want to build momentum, I suggest a 10 minute video. Or longer, obviously. That's why premieres have this countdown clock additionally to ha get momentum. Second, it has to be special, nothing like the ordinary. So for example, if you posted 20 videos of the same game, you want the 21st video to be something special. So let's say every 10 videos, you do something special like, oh, I was playing Fortnite for 10 videos, but now I'm playing with my friends. It has to be something different than other videos. That way your audience is going to be excited and happy to be in the premiere. So a unique and different video, that's for sure. But what premieres are not good for is some short informational video. They just want to get the information and leave. And not everyone wants to chat and comment on the videos, they just want to see the info. So you have to think about your audience and what they like to do. And if you want to actually get more views from premieres, this is how you do it. First, schedule the premiere one hour before. Before, I tried 30 minutes and that wasn't enough. And sometimes not all the notifications are pushed through, so if they only have like 15 or 20 minutes, you might not be able to make it. Additionally, and if you schedule the premiere one hour before, everybody will get the notifications. And sometimes it will remind again in 30 minutes to watch your premiere. Second, promote the premiere on every social media you have. So basically, if you go, if you have Instagram or anything, you can say to your audience, oh, this premiere is at 3 p.m., make sure to be there. And that way, you're going to bring yourself extra fans and it's a promotion for free. And you can even say it in the previous day or a couple of hours before. So if you do it this way, not only you're going to get good initial views, but especially good watch time. I realize my premieres get way more watch time than regular videos. For example, look at these two videos. They got way more watch time than any other of my videos. And I'm talking about when the video was released. So that's why you build momentum before the premiere even starts. And here's how you actually set up the premiere. 
First, a premiere can only be started from a computer, just for you to know that. You can interact with your fans on mobile, but you can't schedule the premiere on mobile. Obviously, go to your account. I'm just using a test account. So basically, you cl click this button and upload the video. So for example, I'm gonna choose this Mother's Day video. So now that this video is uploading, I suggest you make a good title, description, and everything else. You can see the progress on the bottom, obviously. Uh, it says 0% because it's just downloading. It's going to take a little bit. Also, before you even schedule the premiere, which I'm going to show you how to do that in a second, you should have a completely ready video, like I told you before, with the video uploads. And I mean uh, title, thumbnail, description, tags, and the video has to have everything. To at least give this video a chance to pop up. Obviously, to have custom thumbnails, you need to verify your channel, but I cannot do that because I already have two verified channels on the same phone number. So if you're verified, then you can add a custom thumbnail. So we're gonna, we're just gonna leave it at this thumbnail. Then on the bottom, choose if it's made for kids or not, and then click next. Obviously, you want to get an end screen and info cards. You can do any position, but I'm just gonna put this uh, video and subscribe button. Here you go, and you save it. And same thing with the info cards. And there you go. And make sure your settings is always on private first for the video, especially for the premieres. And then when you have everything done, click save. And here's how you schedule the premiere. So we go here to visibility and click the arrow. Don't click public or anything. Just go down until it says schedule and then choose the date and time. So we're going to schedule it for today at 1130. Then mark the square box and click set as premiere. And then, of course, click Schedule on the corner. Now, if you click the video, it's going to appear as a premiere. And then it's going to tell your fans how much minutes until the premiere. And then the premiere starts for everyone at the same time. All right, the premiere is going to start right now. But before it starts, I'm going to give you one extra tip. In the video, you should ask your audience a question so you have more engagement. So not only are they, are they going to comment in the premiere, they're actually going to comment in your regular comments. And that is definitely helping your channel. And that's what I've been doing, so I, I'm sure you realize that. You see, there's a clock, and when the time passes, your premiere starts. And if you do your premiere correctly, sooner or later, your premiere can be active like this as well. Also, if you schedule your premiere one hour before, which is the best, keep in mind some people will show up one hour before. So you have to be in the chat for them, obviously. Last time I scheduled the premiere, I was not ready because I was eating and I did not expect people to show up. And I mean one hour before. So number one, build momentum before your premiere starts. Number two, schedule the premiere one hour before, but be ready that time. Number three, ask a question in the premiere or announce another video so to get more engagement. And I'm talking about engagement after the premiere ends, obviously. And number four, you can say to them when is your next video so they'll make sure to be there. And this is basically how you make premieres. And if you really want to know how to grow your channel, here's my best video for that. And this is the exact strategy I used to grow. Make sure to subscribe because I post videos like these every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.